Okay, if you saw my review on that Venturi aerator, this is what it's for. Uh, you can see right here, it's not connected, it'll be down a little bit. And if you see here, the pallet goes up to here, so it goes down a couple inches, this will be almost to the base. So that'll be perfect for inside this tank. What I'm doing here is, first of all, I want to thank Rob Bob and Paul from the Earthen Group uh, down in Australia. Thank you guys. This is just going to be an aquaculture system. This is just going to be fish. I will have some plants hooked up to it. Uh, my big fish tanks are going to be over here. And this saw so everything over here is going to be for the big fish tanks. This is just going to be fish. Uh, some plants hooked up to it, but I'll show you what that's going to be. Now, nothing's really in place yet, but down the line, one of these fish tanks might be for fish and the other one might be a nursery when I will, for the big tanks, for the big 900,000 gallon tanks, the two of them. Or both will be nursery. I don't know. Maybe down the line, one of them will just be a set, a male and two females or something like that for youngins. And then I'll graduate them to the other one, like them in there and graduate to there, then when they get bigger to the big tank. Or this will just be fish. But basically, I'm going to have the two tanks. This is going to be my radio flow. Uh, you can see down below. And I told you guys I was going to try heating the bottom and making my own cone bottom. Big time failure. Big, big, big time failure. I can see you. <laughs> I tried it a couple. You can see it out there. I tried real slow heat and a hotter heat. There's a seam in the bottom of every one. Doesn't look like there's a seam, but there's a seam. As soon as you heat it up and you touch the bottom, the seam just comes apart. So, what I did is I put a bulkhead fitting on the bottom right here, and it's only coming up about a millimeter and a half from the bottom. So, that'll be pretty good. And it's on the lowest point here in here because when I want to drain the solids out later, that'll get almost everything out instead of having them come from the side. But it'll just be a regular radio flow. Here is no pipes or anything in here yet. Here's the bucket. And here's the lid. Now, this worked perfect. This is an old trash can lid I had. You could not ask for a better. It was like, looks like it was made for this. I mean, it fits perfect upside down. And uh, you can see the bucket just, I cut around here and slid it right in and you'll see them coming up here. I am doing a radial flow. I've did everything. The one I had with just the carton where it goes, the water goes down and up, that or radial flow is the best. The only reason I say they're the best, they're the less maintenance and the less you have to do with. But the fish tanks will go in to this, which will be right here. And then from right here, it's going to go to another one I don't have done here, which is going to be my biofilter over to here, which is my sump. And this was my old solids removal on my old tank. That down there is blocked off. I could not get that out because when I adhesed it in there, it's in there good. And I just, if I get it out, it'll be ruined. So I just kept it off down there, that little bulkhead. But it'll come from the bio into the sump right here. And the sump, you can tell I buried down about halfway down inside the dirt and then it'll pump back to fish tanks. The fish tanks aren't 100% wrapped yet in this reflective material. If you're looking for something to cover your tanks, this is great. You get this at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you're at. It's, uh, this is in the same aisle as Radiant Barrier. That's what it's used for. And I don't have the back done because that's where all the plumbing's gonna be. But I got the front done. But this is just kind of a sneak peek at what everything is doing uh, from my aquaculture system. This system will be right here. What I'm gonna have is right here, I'm gonna have some strawberries and some towers on gravity. And over here, I'll have some Dutch buckets with some cucumbers and tomatoes. Those will feed off this system here. They're just feeding off this system here because I have this here. That's it. But this is more or less just an aquaculture system. But since I'll have the pump and everything like that, I'll just plumb it down and then it'll gravity on back. So 
that's that's basically with this alcohol system i'll just have a few plants hooked up to it so that's it this is just a sneak peek of what i'm building and everything like that you can kind of see where it's at to the one i built right here that's up and going and it's working flawless did have some shade cloth up there though to help out a little bit so that's it i hope everybody enjoys this and we will have another video here when we're coming up